Welcome to another American River College Athletics broadcast brought to you by Stones Radio Networks. Coming to you live from beautiful campus of American River College in Sacramento, California. Today's game is sponsored by United Rentals, Ace Body and Towing, the Lincoln Potters Baseball Club, Grateful Bread, Super Taco, and Taylor Builders. To get you ready for today's matchup, let's send it up to the booth to the legend, Mark the Phantom Low, to bring you all of today's action. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Becky Russ Field on the campus of American River College in lovely Sacramento, California. Not so lovely right now, but we are playing a little bit of softball out here, a Big 8 Conference doubleheader game one between the American River College Beavers and the Santa Rosa Junior College Bear Cubs. The Beavers coming in, having won four in a row in conference play. They've upped their record to 7-6, and 16-11 six, and 11 overall. They've got Bree Romero on the mound. She is 14-6. and six Six on the year, a 2.78 ERA, 94 strikeouts and 39 walks in 138 and a third inning. She's taken on a San Rosa team that has lost six straight. Uh, two of those were uh, rule games, but the other four were very close. So they've been out in most, if not all, of their games. They're 11 and 15 overall, 4 and 10 in Big 8 conference play. These two teams met once before a couple of weeks ago in Santa Rosa, and the Beavers came out with a 6-4 to four win. So they are 1-0 and in the season series. And we're going to get started with the first hitter, number one, Olivia Gabriel, the sophomore from Montgomery High School in Santa Rosa. Hitting a very respectable 366 on the season. Olivia out in center field today. And the first pitch is a ball, although I thought it was a strike. So that is not starting us off very well today. But it's a whole weather kind of thing. McKenzie's up here. She's running the scoreboard. Matt Pearson has decided to show up and do his PA duties. I don't know where he was until 959. Stones McCoy on the thing. There's a bunt and almost caught out of the air. Mackenzie Smith almost uh, happened chanced into that one. Uh, but it goes foul, so it's one ball and one strike. Olivia Gabriel starts us off. Haley Wyatt batting second, the catcher, then Mallory O'Keefe, the shortstop. Adriana Novak in the cleanup spot at first base. Haley Martin, number five, out in left field. And Natalia Brown is the right fielder batting sixth. Esperanza Marquez is the second baseman. Gabby Chanon is the uh, third baseman. And Kaylee Garcia, the DP. Jordan Baugh on the mound in the first game here for Santa Rosa. Gabriel now two balls and one strike. A little bit different uh, camera view as we didn't want to put the camera around exposed to all the elements, and so it is actually up with us in the press box. 2-1 pitch, swung on and missed. 2-2. Two and two. And yes, I did use an umbrella coming in from the parking lot the first time I've used an umbrella of any kind. Maybe a parasol when it was too hot, you know, because older people need to get the sun. You don't want to get too right directly in the sun. But uh, for uh, umbrella purposes, so to speak, the first time in quite some time, 2-2 pitch to Gabriel. Swing and miss at an off-speed pitch for the strikeout. Strikeout number 95 for Romero on the season. One down here in the top of the first, and Haley Wyatt will be the hitter. Haley, very impressive. 4-15, 8 home runs, 27 runs batted in. Haley, a sophomore from Roanoke Park. And she steps in here with one out. Off-speed pitch again. It's in there for a call strike. Romero, we noticed the last outing against Sierra. She went to that off-speed pitch against the big hitters, especially Kendall Manley and uh, some of the big hitters on Sierra. She went to the off-speed pitch. Here's the next one. It's off-speed has popped up right side out of play. Some hardy souls out here with some umbrellas popped up. I urge you to go on the... uh, Whatever YouTube channel you're on currently, Stones Radio Networks or ARC Athletics YouTube, check out yesterday's baseball game between the Beavers and San Joaquin Delta College. Good game. Good back-and-forth game, but also a lot of, uh, that's outside for a ball, a lot of uh, canine club talk. And uh, our first feline club member, as uh, Whiskey the Cat, was uh, a participant and a spectator in that game yesterday, all the way down from Canada to make her American debut. One and two now on Haley Wyatt. Sticks that one down low in the dirt. Two and two. Defensively, we've got Bella Garcia at third, Savannah Haynes at short. Kayla Adams out at second base while Madison Demon is over at first. Mackenzie Smith behind the plate, Elizabeth Popick in left, Faith Waltrip in right, and then in center field, it's Alexa Garcia. 
for Coach Lisa Delgado, co-head coach Felix Vigil, assistant coaches Tom Lugabed and Jason Meyer. It's a sharply to third, scooped up by Adams across the diamond and gets her by a couple of steps at first base. Wyatt hit it hard, but right at Kayla Adams, who made a nice pickup. Two outs quickly here in the top of the first, and Mallory O'Keefe will be the hitter. She's the shortstop in today's activity. Another sophomore, this time from Petaluma, California. 11 runs batted in and a 247 average coming in for Mallory O'Keefe. Adriana Novak, the cleanup hitter on deck. That's in the dirt for a ball. 1 0. Getting the early start here for the doubleheader. Moved up from noon to 10, hoping to get some softball in today as the weather continuing to threaten. Threatened me all the way down here, although I was not in a bad shape as Stones McCoy, who drove in from Roseville without any windshield wipers. Why? Well, because he reached out to move one of them this morning and snapped it off because of those powerful hands. But he paid the price as the uh, weather was not pleasant as he rode in, and he was having to move his head back and forth. To try to get around the raindrops. That's down low for a ball. Quickly 3-0 and on O'Keefe with two outs here in the top of the first. Oh, very good. I don't know what you said, but it sounded very interesting. It sounded like you said, put me on the mic. I'm Stones McCoy. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. Well, we'll do that. We have to have conversations about Whiskey the Cat. All I'm saying is that you can at any point. I was trying to tell you behind the curtain. Yeah. Now I'm in front of the curtain telling you that we all have mics today. Okay, but you're the one who moved the curtain. Let's make that very <laughs> obvious. Go away. 3-1 pitch. It fouled down the line. You could have waited until the middle of the inning and told me then, but you know you had to get there because you knew I can't hear, and you know I'm going to go, what? And then you'd be on the air. Gosh, you're good. I would call, e like I told somebody earlier when you were, uh, you know, doing something crazy, I, I was going to call ER, but then I remembered you are ER, or a HR. You're ER, too. That's the problem. I think Chris is ER, and you're HR. And either way, I'm in trouble. I mean, I'm SOL, wherever I go. Full count pitch. High fly ball hit pretty well to the left field. Popic circling out in left center, and she makes the catch for the out. So three quick outs for Bree Romero in the top of the first. We go to the bottom of the first. Bear Cubs nothing. Beavers coming to bat. Here at Super Taco, we specialize in authentic uh, Mexican food. One of the reasons we are different from other places is that uh, we make everything from scratch. You get a great value when you come here. Large portions and quality food. Our most popular dishes are many uh, different kinds of tacos. We have uh, giant burritos, different kinds of enchiladas, and the fajita. If you're ready for real Mexican food, stop in at a super taco. We'd love to see you. When it comes to your home's maintenance and repairs, Jeffers Resource Group has you covered. Our handyman services offer a comprehensive range of expertise so you can have peace of mind. Contact us to schedule your service today. Oh, I love baking. I've been doing it my whole life. Grateful Bread was started because I needed a job. Personally, it was the most rewarding part is about eating it. It always used to seem like bread was just an afterthought, and uh, which was always kind of disappointing. But now, as not only people, foodies and people eating, they, they're expecting better quality and, and people notice it, they can see it. Bottom of the first, Beavers coming up to the plate against Jordan Bond, who's the uh, right-handed pitcher for Santa Rosa, a freshman out of Casa Grande High School. Jordan is 6-8 and eight on the season, 87 in the third innings, 39 strikeouts, 19 base on ball. It's a very respectable 3.29 earned run average, and she will face a lineup that starts off with Bella Garcia, the third baseman, then Elizabeth Popic in left field, Mackenzie Smith batting third. She is catching. Kayla Adams in the cleanup spot today. The second baseman, Alexa Garcia batting fifth, and Riley Meyer, who was the DP in this one. Madison Demon, the first baseman. Faith Waltrip is out and right, and Savannah Haynes is playing shortstop. Behind Bree Romero. So Vaughn. Right-hander against Garcia. 
shows bunt. It's too high for a ball. Bella at 439. She has driven in seven. She has scored 28 runs on the season. That one is in there for a strike. So it's one and one on Bella Garcia, Elizabeth Popic, and Mackenzie Smith to follow. Bella, a sophomore out of Rockland High School. She lifts that one foul over the uh, third base dugout. So she is down in the count, one ball and two strikes. Beavers coming off four straight conference wins to improve their record to seven and six as we get ready for the final third. Final segment of the conference season. One, two pitches fouled down the third baseline. After today, the Beavers will have nine games. If we can get both of them in today, they'll have nine conference games remaining. Only three of those will be at home, including next Saturday, a week from tomorrow, we take on Delta College. Takes that one outside for a ball, two and two. So a big double header here today for ARC and Coach Lisa Delgado and Felix Vigil. The co-head coach, Madison Green, running the show for Santa Rosa. Doug Buescher is her assistant. There's a ball right back to Vaughn. She goes to first base and gets her by a step. So Bella is retired on a ground ball back to the mound, and it'll bring up Elizabeth Popic, who is hitting in the 313 clip out of uh, Wood Creek High School, just a freshman, playing out in left field today for the Beavers. That's lifted over third base shortstop, coming over. Nice play by Mallory O'Keefe to make the out. And Popic is retired. Brings up Mackenzie Smith. Gabby Shannon at third base. Mallory O'Keefe at shortstop. Esperanza Marquez at second. And Adriana Novak over at first. It's Martin, Gabriel, and Brown in the outfield. Haley Wyatt behind the plate. And Jordan Bond on the mound. Two outs quickly here in the bottom of the first. Mackenzie takes high and outside. She is at 418 on the season. A pair of home runs. 16 runs batted in for Mackenzie Smith, a, uh, excuse me, a freshman out of Stag High School down in Stockton. Takes in there for a strike, 1-1. One one. Just getting started here from Mackie Russ Field, bottom of the first inning. The first of what we hope is two games. There's a line drive in the right field. That should be a base hit, although the right fielder had a chance to throw to first base to try to get McKenzie. That's Brown out in right field. Natalia Brown came up. Uh, Novak wasn't covering, so probably wouldn't have gotten McKenzie, but the ball was hit so hard that there was a chance. Here's Kayla Adams, who's at 415, five home runs, 34 runs batted in. So she has really been hitting the ball lately for Coach Delgado and the Beavers, and she's up here with a runner at first. First hit of the game for the Beavers for anybody. That's Mackenzie Smith. Kayla swings and pops it up right back at us. And bounces maybe 10 feet away. Matt Pearson doesn't even move. I don't know if I don't know if he was being cool and didn't didn't move or if he just had no idea. Well, he's still reading his lineups, going, Wow, well, how did I mess that up? Oh, come on. So he's he probably doesn't care. You gotta wait till the third inning before he even notices what happens on the field. Adams hits that one well to left field off speed pitch. That's a one hop on the fence. Here comes Smith at third. They're going to hold her down. They're going to send her. The relay throws a little too late, and that's the first run of the game on an RBI double for Kayla Adams with Mackenzie Smith scoring all the way from first, and the Beavers lead it one to nothing. Adams with her 35th run bat in, got an off-speed pitch there, waited for it, put it over Martin's head in left field. Haley ran it down, got it in. To the shortstop, O'Keefe, but it was kind of a deceptive move over at third base as Smith slowed down and then sped up again, and she scores on the double. It's one nothing Beavers, and here is Alexa Garcia. Swing and a miss. Alexa up to seven home runs on the campaign, 26 runs batted in. I believe she had one on Tuesday against Modesto in that 7-5 to five Beavers win.
Swing and a miss again. So a two-out single by Smith and then an RBI double from Adams, but quickly 0-2 on Alexa Garcia. Riley Meyer, today's DP, is on deck. We've got a little equipment situation with the catcher, Haley Wyatt. Oh, and two. That's inside. Barely missed the call right there. One ball and two strikes on Alexa Garcia, and their sophomore out of Rockland High. 344 for the average, seven home runs, 26 knocked in. A little bit outside, exactly where catcher Hilly Wyatt. Wanted it, and that's where they got it, but Alexa Garcia does not chase, and so it's even at two balls and two strikes. That's fouled off, and a ball in on the hands of Alexa Garcia. Two and two, two outs. Runner on second base. Bear Cubs went down one, two, three in their half of the first. First two go down easily here in the bottom of the first, and then Mackenzie Smith and Kayla Adams come through. Swing and a miss. Got her on strikes, chasing the high fastball. So Garcia is out on strikes, but not before two hits produce one run. We go to the top of the second. Beavers leading at one nothing. Lincoln Potter's Baseball. Placer County's best-kept secret is back for another exciting summer at historic McBean Stadium. Loaded with fun for the whole family. Local beer, wine, and eats. Fireworks, giveaways, theme nights, kid zone, and more. Come join in the fun and enjoy small-town baseball with Major League Entertainment. Tickets on sale now at LincolnPotters.com. Lincoln Potter's Baseball. Come on out and join in the fun. Oh, I love baking. I've been doing it my whole life. Grateful Bread was started because I needed a job. It always used to seem like bread was just an afterthought, and uh, which was always kind of disappointing. But now, as not only people, foodies and people eating, they, they're expecting better quality, and, and people notice it, they can see it. Got dragged there, and I did. What? He's an actor. Oh crap! Who cares? Uh, you got the rest of your life to be, you know, serious. But so just tweet it out, and then don't really then run away. Yeah. No, I think it happens to some of us. Maybe it sounds a little personal to you, but uh, I, I'm not. I didn't want. Me yeah, to I don't know. It just way. maybe I, sounds I, like that. Generally, I know fine. Again, you're a very bright guy. Yeah. You see right, right into right my soul, you. my friend. My That's why I have so many jobs because people <laughs> think I'm funny when they're driving home. <laughs> Move along to the top of the second inning from Becky Russ Field here. It's Adriana Novak, then Haley Martin, and Natalia Brown for the Bear Cubs against Bree Romero, who now has the one-run lead. That one's hit out to short left field. Coming out is Popic. She makes a diving catch. What a play, Elizabeth Popic. She takes that one from fair territory into foul. I think it would have been a fair ball, and it would have been trouble, and Elizabeth Popic with a web gem to retire Adriana Novak for the first out here in the top of the second. It brings up Haley Martin. Martin playing out in left field for the Bear Cubs. 197 on the season. 13 runs batted in for Haley. Sophomore from Ronard Park. That's high and outside. What a good catch out there by Elizabeth Popic. Had to cover a lot of ground. That was in short left field by the uh, foul line. One ball, no strikes. Natalia Brown on deck. Joe's bunt, bunts it down the third base line, but Garcia's all over it, throws it to first to Kayla Adams covering. Well executed play by the uh, Beavers, and Martin is out 5-4 to four for the second out of the second inning. And here's Natalia Brown. A 243 hitter, Natalia from Piner High School, another sophomore. Five runs batted in with the 243 average for Natalia. Esperanza Marquez. Would follow if she can start something, and she takes that one right down the middle for a strike, going one. Well executed bunt by Haley Martin, but Garcia was all over it. 
And Adams getting over there quickly from her second base spot to cover first. Could have been a much closer play. That one's outside and high. But still just counts for one ball, one ball and one strike. Every time I come to, to softball, I always want to look out over the right field fence and see rugby. It's, but there's no rugby over there. And this is rugby weather, too. Get those people out there. One one pitch is hit up the middle. That's a base hit into center field. Good job by Brown handling the bat. Put that one right back up the middle. First hit of the game for the Bear Cubs, and she is at first base with two outs, and Esperanza Marquez will be the hitter. Freshman from Windsor High coming in with a 222 average does have nine runs batted in for the Bear Cubs. Hitting in the number seven spot. Brown over at first base. That's a good looking pitch inside corner for a strike on one. On Marquez. Bear Cubs 11 and 15 overall, just 4 and 10 in conference play. Swung on and fouled down the third base line. Another inside pitch that she turns on. 0 oh and 2 quickly on Marquez. Brown at first base after the two out single. Beavers lead 1 to nothing. We're top of second. Game 1, hopefully, of a twin bill here at Becky Russ Field on picturesque America River College campus in lovely Sacramento, California. That's outside. Throw down to first base a little bit too late from Mackenzie Smith and Madison Demon, but Brown is back. Outfield straight away and pretty deep actually for Marquez. That's foul back to the screen on an inside pitch, especially uh, Faith Walter out in right field. Stays at one and two on Marquez. Gabby Shannon, the third baseman, number eight hitter in the on deck circle. Romero gets the pitch call from the dugout. Is one just a little bit outside, took something off that one. Couldn't find the outside corner, even to count up two and two. So I'm going to hit high up in the air to left field. Popic has a beat on it, though. Elizabeth makes the catch for the third out. So one hit in the inning, but no runs. We go to the bottom of the second. Beavers still up by one. Hi, I'm Monica from Ace Body Shop in Town. We are a family oriented business. We've been in business for over 30 years. We are located downtown Lincoln at 333 Lincoln Boulevard in Lincoln, California. We do automotive repair and 24 hour towing. Our phone number is 916 645 2859, or you can find us on the web. Here at Super Taco, we specialize in authentic uh, Mexican food. One of the reasons we are different from other places is that uh, we make everything from scratch. You get a great value when you come here, large portions and quality food. Our most popular dishes are many uh, different kinds of tacos. We have uh, giant burritos, different kinds of enchiladas, and the fajita. If you're ready for real Mexican food, stop in at a Super Taco. We'd love to see you. Fast plung on and missed. He got him on strikes at 86, the off meter. Bruno strikes out the. He's going to look that way. Now he's going to duck down the middle. He's got a guy wide open at the 18. Get it. That's Robert Freeman. And Robert's trying to make a couple of moves. He comes back to the 15. Comes down to the 10. He gets a block to the 5. Bottom of the second inning from Becky Russ Field. The Beavers with Riley Meyer, Madison Demon, and Faith Waltrip. 6-7-8 against Jordan Bond. The freshman from Casa Grande 
Gave up two hits and one run in the first inning. She has a 3.29 ERA, a 6 and 8 record on the season. And Meyer, who's hitting at 3.51 with three home runs, comes up to the plate. Riley takes that one a little bit inside and high. It's 1 0. Freshman from Casa Robo, followed by Madison Demon and Faith Waltrip. Beavers with one in the uh, first inning. A Kayla Adams RBI double gives Kayla 35 runs batted in on the season. Meyer takes outside, 2 0. Couple of freshmen, Mackenzie Smith with a single and then scored from Adams. Couple of standout freshmen for the Beavers this year, along with Riley Meyer, who pops that one into short right center field. A diving try, but it looked like a trap. And a tremendous try by Olivia Gabriel, but it's a single for Riley Meyer. Closed a lot quicker than I thought she had a chance to, and she made the, the uh, short hop catch. And if she doesn't make that one, it all goes all the way to the fence. So a big play by Olivia Gabriel in center field. But Meyer with the single, and here's Madison Demon. She's got her average up to 279, and she's going to take a little trip down to talk to third base coach. I assume that's Felix Vigil down there. And they're going to go over I probably what happened on Shogun this week or maybe what they wanted to do in this situation. Either one would be a tremendous conversation. I mean, through six episodes, it's a riveting miniseries. Yeah. Yes, it is the old novel, a James Clavel novel. Very good, uh, uh, Chris Toy. And it has been made into a miniseries before. Madison swings and misses. Richard Chamberlain was the star to tell you how old or how long. Yeah, it was the 80s when he did the Thorn Birds and then uh, uh, Shogun. But this one is a little bit better done, I believe. I wasn't a big Richard Chamberlain guy. I know that's sacrilege to say for people over 90. There's a pop-up. Catcher's going to go after that one and make the play. That is Haley Wyatt. So Demon is retired and a pop-up to the catcher, and that'll bring up Faith Waltrip. Faith getting the start in right field today. Freshman out of El Camino. Another good freshman hitting at 250 with five runs batted in. She doesn't get as many at-bats as some of the other regulars. Meyer stays at first base. One out now. And Waltrip, Savannah Haynes, the number nine hitter on deck. Faith takes that one right down the middle for a strike on one. Richard Chamberlain was a was Dr. Kildare back in the 60s. Only people at least 65 years are, you know, everybody else is too now. But there's a lot of grandmas that listen, you know. My peeps. I call them my peeps. I'm great grandmas, too. That's line down the left field line. That is a fair ball. Just inside the line, a single, and Meyer is going to have to hold it second as Martin is on it quickly and gets it back in. So nice placement there by Faith Waltrip. She's got herself a hit, two hits in the inning for the Beavers, and that will bring up the number nine hitter, number nine, Savannah Haynes, playing at shortstop, another freshman out of Castro Roblo, hitting at 242 on the season. Five runs batted in, I believe. And she's up here in a situation now where help the Beavers break this one open in just a little bit. Swings and misses at a high fastball. Bella Garcia, the top of the order on deck. Meyer at second, wall trip over at first. That's inside, down low, handled behind the plate by Haley Wyatt. The sophomore from Runner Park. One ball, one strike on Savannah Haynes. No home runs so far on the season for Savannah. She played second. She played third. She played short today. That's a line drive into right center field. That's down for a base hit. On it is Gabriel. Very quickly she gets it in and keeps the runners from going more than one base. Meyer had to wait a little bit to see if that was going to drop. But another single for the Beavers. That's three singles. Sandwiched around the pop out by Demon, loads the bases with one out, and here is Bella Garcia. Let's see if she goes into slap mode or tries to turn a little power. We've seen her hit some extra base hits on the season here when she was trying to. Let's see what the uh, approach is now for Bella, who's hitting a 439. Driven in seven runs. That's inside, gets away, but staying at third base and now coming in. The throw is not going to be in time. And coming in is uh, Riley Meyer, and she slipped almost on the top of the plate, but she did score. Moves up the other two runners as well. She was going to go, then she stopped, and she saw the ball was rolling away and kept going and couldn't be picked up by Wyatt. 
And they're going to get a towel out there and clean off the top of the plate because Riley almost went sprawling. Easy way to pull a groin muscle there by sliding a little skate action over the top of the plate. I'll bring in our resident uh, medical officer, Chris Toy, to talk about the possible things that could happen to you maybe a little bit later on. It's a little bit too early to, to break out the uh, medical stuff, even though we did reference Dr. Kildare, who was like the forerunner of all these Doogie Housers and all that. He was one of the first doctors on TV, okay? Garcia takes high. I believe the pitch was a... The first pitch was a ball as well. I think it'd be 2 0. Yeah, it's 2 0. Signaling the home plate umpire who's all over it. Garcia Chopper picked up a shortstop. Not going to have a play. It's going to be an infield single. Throw back to third to try to get behind the runner. And she barely, Faith Walter barely gets back in. But it's a single. For Garcia, fourth hit of the inning for the Beavers that loads the bases again and brings up Elizabeth Popick, who popped out to shortstop her first time up, a little blooper over the third baseman said that Mallory O'Keefe came over and made the play on. So Elizabeth 0 for 1. 313 on the season. For the freshman out of Wood Creek. Pops that one up. That's on the infield, so it's an infield fly, and she is out. So we're going to leave it up to Mackenzie Smith to see if the Beavers can score more than once here in the second inning. Mackenzie singled in the first inning, came in at 418, two home runs, 16 runs batted in. Beavers with four hits in the inning, just the one run that scored on the wild pitch. Mackenzie takes high, and she's up there ripping the throw, gets past the pitcher, and it's going to go all the way out to the middle infield, and coming in is Faith Waltrip. Very alertly, Faith picked up on that. It'll be an error. First one of the game for the Bear Cubs, and it's a free run for the Beavers. Haynes stayed at second, and at first is still Bella Garcia, but very alertly, Faith Waltrip, that one got by Vaughn on the mound. McKenzie takes down low, 2-0, and, and she's a free swinger getting a pitch, a 2-0 pitch to her liking. We can see her and also the on-deck hitter, Kayla Adams, taking big cuts at those. McKenzie takes inside for a ball, so we're one pitch away from having the bases loaded for the third time in the inning. And the Beavers have scored the runs on a wild pitch in the throwing air. She showed bunt, so of course automatically it is a strike, three and one. That's one of the rules of baseball after seven years, seven summers with the Potters and watching games here for three years. That's just one of two rules that I've come up with. That's inside ball four. So McKenzie gets the base on balls. The base is now loaded again. So the first rule is if you show bunt on a 3-0 pitch, it's going to be a called strike. The second is if you hit a ground ball back to the pitcher, the pitcher will run two-thirds of the way to first base before underhanding it to a first baseman who's going, can you just throw it to me? You're too close. There you go. Kayla Adams, the hitter, RBI double her first time up. Picked up her 35th run bat into the season and stands to inherit a couple more if she can do something here. Eighth batter of the inning here in the second inning. Four hits for the Beavers, a walk, wild pitch, and a throwing air. So we've had a little bit of everything here. Kayla swings it. It's a sharp grinder out to shortstop. O'Keefe is on it. She flips it to second for the out at second. So Beavers score two on four hits. They leave three. We go to the top of the third. Beavers on top, three to nothing. When it comes to your home's maintenance and repairs, Jeffers Resource Group has you covered. Our handyman services offer a comprehensive range of expertise, from minor carpentry to drywall, electrical and flooring for property managers, landlords, and renters alike. We ensure that every job is completed to the highest standards, so you can have peace of mind. Contact us today to discover how Jeffers Resource Group can help keep your home in top shape.
I told Rick, I said, this is the guy that's going to lead us out of the... <laughs> he can't even lead us out of the parking lot. He can't get lot. out of the parking lot. <laughs> so we just, just moments ago, the, a rhubarb, a brouhaha yes. between Mr. Reynolds, the great Jerry Reynolds, and the great Mr. Basketball. They always wear he something dresses different. different. He has his yeah. suit on and stuff. So, yeah. so it's like, hey, fans, I'm, I'm different. Yeah. You know, I'm the man. Well, See, so... Yeah. so- Top of inning number three here from Becky Rusfield. Three to nothing in favor of the Beavers. It's Gabby Shannon and Kaylee Garcia and Olivia Gabriel. Eight, nine, and one for the Bear Cubs. They have two hits through the first, or excuse me, one hit through the first two innings. And Taya Brown with a single back in the second. And here is Gabby Shannon, 176, with 11 runs batted in for the third baseman. Takes that one on the inside corner for a strike. Gabby had a runner park, just a freshman for the Bear Cubs. Takes that one a little bit outside. Mackenzie Smith behind the plate for the Beavers. Bella Garcia at third, Savannah Haynes at short. Kayla Adams at second, Madison Demon at first. Faith Wall trips out and right. Alexa Garcia in center, Elizabeth Popick is the left fielder behind Bree Romero. One ball, one strike on Chinon. Foul ball into the catcher's glove, which counts as a strike. One ball in two strikes now. That's lifted to the, toward the dugout. It's going to get out of play and barely miss a spectator who did her best Matt Pearson impersonation by turning her back and just kind of going, oh! I know he gets a bad rap, the poor guy. I mean, the public address announcer rankings in the latest magazine, the PA magazine that I subscribe to, he was in the top 32. He was, well, he, he was up as high as 24 at one time, which is pretty good. Inside... Oh, I was going to go inside corner strike three, but the umpire gave the shoulder but did not give the call. And it's two and two on Shannon. Kaylee Garcia to follow. She's the DP for Coach Green. Foul out of play. Almost back toward us, but there's a screen in the way. Although in the old days there didn't used to be. When I was when I was a kid. <laughs> I remember going to major league games and there was the screen behind home plate was lower than it is right here. Major league games. Crazy. And it wasn't even the Oakland A's owner. I mean, it was real people owning the teams. They just didn't have big screens. It wasn't like they were scrimping off the money. 2-2 two, two pitches lifted foul out of play to our left, so it stays at 2-2. Two and two. Last home game for the Beavers, they took the win over Sierra, then went on the road and took a pair from Diablo Valley before winning at Modesto on Tuesday. So they're on a four-game win streak in conference play. 2-2 pitch, that's outside and high. And she goes down to first base on the 3-2 pitch. And so <laughs> there's only one thing to do for somebody who does that is give them a job at the Stones Radio Networks because that's the people we hire. Always looking for an angle. She's like, hey, everybody's, you know, my head was clearly a ball. I'm just going to go down to first. Well done, Gabby. You're our new favorite player. We'll send her a card. 3-2 pitch, swung on and missed. So it doesn't end well after all. One out here in the third, and the battle will be Kaylee Garcia, the DP. Freshman out of Ukiah, California, which... When I was growing up in Vallejo, we had Ukai in our league. That's like a six-hour bus ride both ways. Depending on how many sports you played, you basically had to go to Ukai three times a year. That was awful. That is high for a ball. And nothing against Ukai, a fine area. It just took a long time to get there. And those buses weren't that great in those days. Yeah, at that time, that you, it was us, Ukai, there was a school in San Diego, and I think one in L.A., and that was the league. That's high for a ball. Actually, it was Vallejo, two schools in Vallejo, Napa, two schools in Santa Rosa, Petaluma, and Ukiah. That was our league. 
Well, I don't, well, of course, gas was a lot cheaper. You couldn't do that now. Nobody could afford it. That one is in there for a strike. Two and one on Kaylee Garcia. I called Ukiah. Now I call Ukiah the Colfax of the North. Because it reminds me, it reminds me of Colfax, which I think is a tremendous little town. That one's in there, I think, for a strike, but no, the umpire and I disagree, and that's going to cause a problem. Three and one, and Bree Romero is on my side, I think, on that one. Three and one. Colfax is a great community. It's very Ukiah ish. That's lifted foul, and that will be out of play to our left. No canines in the crowd so far today. No felines either. So I hope our next baseball game, Jean-Claude, the, the Bulldog, comes back. Although we found out later he's not a French Bulldog. He's just a pug. Or else that was Stones just trying to harsh our mellow. That is just outside for a ball, and we're going to actually allow the walk this time. And that's how you can tell is the umpire will always stand, go out, and go to the left if it's a walk. Kind of like showing, yeah, okay, you can go. He dismisses the batter and lets him go to first. Olivia Gabriel, the hitter, struck out leading off the game, the center fielder out of Montgomery High in Santa Rosa, which was one of the schools in our league back in the day. This is a, quite a while ago. Olivia hits it down to shortstop, scooped up to second for one. Kayla Adams is trying to throw it to first, and she dropped it. They're going to call the out at second base. A fielder's choice for Gabriel. She'll be at first. Adams trying to get it out. I don't know if she would have got Gabriel. She got down the line very quickly. And brings up Haley Wyatt, a dangerous hitter in the number two spot, batting 4-15 on the season. Grounded to third her first time up. She has an impressive eight home runs on the year and 27 runs batted in. She takes that one off speed. One swing at the bat, she could get this game a lot closer. 0-1 on her, though. Haley, a sophomore out of Runner Park, which was not in our league. Takes that one down low for a ball. Nice secondary lead by Gabriel. Kenzie Smith decides not to throw down there. One and one on Haley Wyatt. Two outs here in the third. White hits it down the third again, and Adams is right there across the diamond for the out. So she's retired 5-3 to three for the second time today. No runs, one left. We go to the bottom of the third. Bieber's still on top, 3 to nothing. Here at Super Taco, we specialize in authentic uh, Mexican food. One of the reasons we are different from other places is that uh, we make everything from scratch. You get a great value when you come here, large portions, and quality food. Our most popular dishes are many uh, different kinds of tacos. We have uh, giant burritos, different kinds of enchiladas, and the fajita. If you're ready for real Mexican food, stop in at a super taco. We'd love to see you. When it comes to your home's maintenance and repairs, Jeffers Resource Group has you covered. Our handyman services offer a comprehensive range of expertise so you can have peace of mind. Contact us to schedule your service today. I love baking. I've been doing it my whole life. Grateful Bread was started because I needed a job. Personally, it was the most rewarding part is about eating it. It always used to seem like bread was just an afterthought, and uh, which was always kind of disappointing. But now, as not only people, foodies and people eating, they, they're expecting better quality, and, and people notice it, they can see it. Bottom of the third, Beavers will send up Alexa Garcia, then Riley Meyer and Madison Demon against Jordan Bond, who's given up six hits in the first two innings. But both runs that she gave up in the second, well, one was unearned. First one scored on a wild pitch. Second one on a throwing error from the catcher. Garcia struck out back in the first, so she is 0 for 1. She takes that one outside. Comes in at 344. Seven home runs. 26 runs batted in for the sophomore out of Rockland. 
playing out in center field for the Beavers in this game one of a hopefully proposed doubleheader here. Garcia takes high and inside that time, 2-0. Two balls and no strikes. Jones McCoy went out to the car to get some uh, equipment and uh, happened on the uh, street right behind the school. 2-1 pitch is in there for a strike and uh, happened upon an accident. And, Chris, I don't know. Go ahead and pipe in. I don't know if uh, Stones took over and was helping on the scene or, or what, what was the impression that you were getting? Uh, well, knowing my friend Stones, he jumped immediately into action yes. and uh, got it, made sure that all the people were safe and not out on the roadway and then uh, probably yeah. promptly caught on his phone to call the emergency services to have the uh, professionals come out and take and care of And as a public service, we can say it was probably related to a skid out there, so please, it's it's wet. The roads are wet. You know, it is it's raining. Rain. Yeah, so uh, please be careful out there. Thank you, Chris Toy, medical officer for Stones Radio Networks. 2-2 two, two pitch is inside and low, 3-2. and two. So Stones was out there. So if you didn't you feel his presence within the uh, press box, which is what we always find so reassuring here at Stones Radio Networks, that was because he was out helping other people. And hopefully everybody uh, comes out okay. Popped up, short left field coming in. The left fielder, that is Martin, and she makes the catch. So Garcia retired and a fly ball out to Haley Martin in left field. Here's Riley Meyer, who singled her first time up. Riley had a very eventful trip around the bases, eventually making it to third and scoring on a wild pitch in which she started and stopped three times before scoring and almost slipping on top of the plate. We should give her the public service announcement, too. She takes that one in there for a strike. Off-speed pitch from Jordan Bond. B-A-U-G-H-N, Jordan Bond. Freshman from Casa Grande, which I believe is in Petaluma. And I do not know their name. I think Petaluma is the Trojans. Swing and a miss. They used to be the Trojans. I don't know what they are now, but they used to be, I believe, the Trojans. And I'm going to say that Casa Grande is the uh, Vikings. That's, that is a pure guess. 0-2 pitch misses outside. Kind of on purpose, one ball and two strikes. Riley followed in the lineup by Madison Demon, the number seven hitter. Myers, we said, 351 coming in as a single to her name. Three home runs, 17 batted in. One, two pitches lined to center field. Gabriel's going to come in, and it's over her head. Meyer is taking it very easy. She's going to try for second anyway, and she slides in head first. And she was running very gingerly. Got to think there's something. Maybe she's got something wrong with the leg or foot or something. But she came around first and looked to second and said, I got to take off. And she kicked it into gear and pulls in with a double. So ball hit very hard to center field. Casa Grande, the Gauchos, which I don't know. I kind of like Casa Grande. Gra oh, yeah, okay, Grauchos, Grando. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't. Maybe they have people that can talk much better than me. Seventh hit of the game for the Beavers. And here's Madison Demon. She takes inside for a ball. Madison popped to the catcher her first time up. Has the average up to 279 with nine runs batted in for the first baseman out of Rio Americano. Just a freshman. Another contributing freshman for coaches Delgado and Vigil. It's that one high in the air to left center field. Coming on as Gabriel still coming on. Olivia makes the catch. And what turns out to be short left center field for the second out. Covers a lot of ground out in center field. Two outs and here is Faith Waltrip. She singled her first time down the left field line. Came in at 250. She ended up scoring a run on a bad throw from the catcher back to the pitcher. With it almost made it out into the outfield. So Faith is one for one. Takes a strike right down the middle there from Jordan Bond. 0 and 1. As Chris Toy points out, there are many canines in the area. They're just not around the field. They're way out in the rugby field. And if they taught dogs rugby, that would be awesome. There's about four or five of them out there. Just having a good time. That one just misses the outside corner. Then we have another black dog who's over there by the, the what we call the mound of dirt, the ceremonial mound of dirt to the right side. And that guy, he's just hanging out. He's not really doing anything. One ball, one strike. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two and one. It is a little bit early, you know. Two and one on Faith Waltrip. Meyer in second. Two outs here in the third. If 
He slices that one foul over by that mound of dirt and hits one of the porta potties. I hope it was unoccupied because that would be a rude awakening. Go to the one on the right, by the way, if you go down there. There's two of them there. And I, you know, good job getting two down there because there was just one for a while. But the one on the right is uh, it, it, tremendous. 2-2 two, two pitch coming up to Waltrip. Takes that one outside, 3-2. and two. If Faith gets on, it's Savannah Haynes, the number nine hitter on deck. Meyer still at its second base. We were in the bottom of the third inning here. Hits it out of play to the right, right toward the porta potties again. That one a little bit to the left. Some good English on that one. That's a nice little wedge shot there. Spun it back to the right side. Still three and two. Inside corner, took something off there, called strike three. No runs a hit. We left one. We go to the fourth inning. Beavers up three, nothing. Lincoln Potter's Baseball, Placer County's best-kept secret, is back for another exciting summer at historic McBean Stadium. Loaded with fun for the whole family. Local beer, wine, and eats. Fireworks, giveaways, theme nights, kid zone, and more. Come join in the fun and enjoy small-town baseball with Major League Entertainment. Tickets on sale now at LincolnPotters.com. Lincoln Potter's Baseball. Oh, I love baking. I've been doing it my whole life. Grateful Bread was started because I needed the job. It always used to seem like bread was just an afterthought, and uh, which was always kind of disappointing. But now, as not only people, foodies and people eating, they, they're expecting better quality, and, and people notice it, they can see it. Got dragged there, and I didn't. What, he's an actor. Oh crap! Who cares? Uh, you got the rest of your life to be, you know, serious. But so just tweet it out, and then don't really and then respond. run away. Yeah. No, I think it happens to some of us. Maybe it sounds a little personal to you, but uh, I, I'm not. I didn't want. Yeah, to I don't know. It just way. maybe I, sounds I, like that. Generally, I know fine. You, again, you're a very bright guy. Yeah. You see right, right into right my soul, you. my friend. My, That's why I have so many jobs because people <laughs> think I'm funny when they're driving home. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the fourth inning. Stones Radio Network's on the job. Chris Toy on the controls. I'm Mark the Phantom Low. Stones McCoy is wandering around, helping out with things that are happening. There's a ground ball down to Kayla Adams. Across the diamond, she gets her at first. Mallory O'Keefe is the first out here in the fourth inning. On the first pitch, Adriana Novak is going to be the hitter. She is 0 for 1 so far. McKenzie running the scoreboard today. Matt Pearson on the PA duties. That's our press box here at Becky Rustfield. We thank you for checking us out on YouTube, ARC Athletics, or Stones Radio Networks. Either one, subscribe on either one or both and never miss any action from not only ARC, but we've got from Stones Radio Network, we've got talk shows, we've got Lincoln Ponders baseball in the summer, all kinds of stuff going on. Hit sharply out to second base. Backhanded out there by Adams from her knees. She throws to first. It's a web gem for Kayla Adams. And two outs here in the top of the fourth. Makes the backhand and then kind of has to go to her knees to uh, make the backhand. Throws it from the knees right over to Madison Demon. And there are two outs. And Haley Martin, the left fielder, comes to the plate. Tried to bunt her way on the first time in the second inning. And it was handled by Bella Garcia down at third base. So she is 0 for 1. Good looking pitch outside corner. 0 and 1 on Haley Martin. 197 on the season for Haley, a sophomore from Runner Park. 13 runs batted in. Natalia Brown on deck. She has the only hit of the game for the Bear Cubs. A single back in the second inning. A one pitch is popped up. Calling is Mackenzie Smith and couldn't make the play. That was trouble from the beginning. As Demon was coming in from first, Smith didn't get out to get it, and coming in from third was Garcia, so it drops in, 
And Martin is at first. Here's Natalia Brown, who singled her first time up. So a runner at first with two outs, and Brown at the plate. Came in at 243. A sophomore out of Piner High School in Santa Rosa. First pitch is just a little high for a ball. Romero with two strikeouts over the first three and two-thirds innings. She's allowed two hits. And she's one ball, no strikes on Brown. Takes a call strike outside corner. Evens it up at one and one. We're back here next Saturday week from tomorrow for more softball action. That's a, a noon start. With a doubleheader against Delta College. The Mustangs are in town for two. Outside for a ball. We're here on Thursday on these same channels. As baseball take on Consumers River. That's a 2 p.m. start on Thursday. I believe that's the 4th of April. So join us over there. And we'll see if we can get some canines out there. That's in there for strike two. Two and two. Winding down a uh, very, very busy 2023-2024 America River College sports season. Starting way back in August with soccer. Lifted out to center field. Garcia in her tracks reaches up, makes the catch for the third out. So a hit and nothing else. We go to the bottom of the fourth. We're halfway through. Beavers on top, three to nothing. Hi, I'm Monica from Ace Body Shop in Town. We are a family-oriented business. We've been in business for over 30 years. We are located downtown Lincoln at 333 Lincoln Boulevard in Lincoln, California. We do automotive repair and 24 hours towing. Our phone number is 916-645-2859, or you can find us on the web. Here at Super Taco, we specialize in authentic uh, Mexican food. One of the reasons we are different from other places is that uh, we make everything from scratch. You get a great value when you come here, large portions and quality food. Our most popular dishes are many uh, different kinds of tacos. We have uh, giant burritos, different kinds of enchiladas, and the fajita. If you're ready for real Mexican food, stop in at a super taco. We'd love to see you. Pass plung on and missed. He got him on strikes at 86, the off speeder. Bruno strikes out the... He's going to look that way. Now he's going to duck down the middle. He's got a guy wide open at the 18. Get it. That's Robert Freeman. And Robert's trying to make a couple of moves. He comes back to the 15. Comes down to the 10. He gets a block to the 5. Nine one two for the Beavers here in the bottom of the fourth. That's Savannah Haynes, Bella Garcia, Elizabeth Popic against Jordan Bond. She's given up seven hits and three runs in three innings, and she is high for a ball. She has two strikeouts, has walked one. Stones McCoy leaves the press box to go help somebody somewhere in some goodwill mission. He's already directed traffic at an accident outside. Right behind us. Took care of that situation. Now he's looking for somebody else to help. If there was a stone signal like a bat signal, I don't want to know what it would be. Lifted out toward right field. Brown comes on and makes a running catch for the first out here in the fourth inning. So Haynes is one for two. She singled back in the second. Here's Bella Garcia. Grounded back to the pitcher. Had an infield single. So she's one for two, 439 on the season. Driven in seven, scored 28, Bella Garcia. Playing at third base in this game one of the twin bill. Hopefully the twin bill. Lifts that one down the left field line. That's going to drop as chasing it was Haley Martin, but a little out of her reach down there in foul territory. So Garcia will try it again at 0-1.
Jordan Vaughn, a freshman out of Casa Grande High School, came in with a 6-8 record, 3-2-9 ERA. Bella takes outside. One ball and one strike. Defense slightly shaded to left field and medium deep for Garcia, who swings and hits that one out to left field coming on as Martin. And she has an easy play in left for the second out. So two away and Elizabeth Popic, who is a pop to short and pop to short, coming to the plate. Elizabeth comes in at 313, the freshman out of Wood Creek. Playing out in left field for the Beavers. Trying to get something started. What has up till now been a very quiet bottom of the fourth inning. Hits that ball pretty well to right, but uh, Brown has it. Comes in and makes it, <laughs> makes a basket catch, which ended up on her stomach, which all counts for an out, so it's all F9 anyway. Three quick flyouts for the Beavers in the fourth. We go to the fifth. They're on top, three to nothing. When it comes to your home's maintenance and repairs, Jeffers Resource Group has you covered. Our handyman services offer a comprehensive range of expertise, from minor carpentry to drywall, electrical and flooring for property managers, landlords, and renters alike. We ensure that every job is completed to the highest standards, so you can have peace of mind. Contact us today to discover how Jeffers Resource Group can help keep your home in top shape. Told Rick, I said, "This is the guy that's going to lead us out of the. <laughs> he can't even lead us out of the. He can't get lot. out of the parking lot." <laughs> so we just, just moments ago, the oh. a rhubarb, a brouhaha yes. between Mr. Reynolds, the great Jerry Reynolds, and the great Mr. Basketball. They always wear he something dresses different. different. He has his yeah. suit on and stuff. So, yeah. So it's like, hey, fans, I'm, I'm different. Yeah. Stop for the fifth inning for the Bear Cubs. Esperanza uh, Marquez will lead it off. She takes outside for a ball. Esperanza fly to left her first time up back in the second inning. She's followed by Gabby Shannon and Kaylee Garcia. Seven, eight, and nine for Madison Green's team. Two hits on the board. No run so far for the Bear Cubs. That one also outside. So it's quickly 2 0 oh on Marquez. 222 on the season. Nine runs batted in. She's at second base for Santa Rosa in this game one of a proposed doubleheader. Lays off that one. It's in there for a call strike. Two and one. Saluting the hearty crowd that's out here checking this one out. That's lifted into short center field. Coming on is Garcia. Nice catch out there, Alexa Garcia. Closing fast on that one. Could have been trouble. She gloves it for the first out, and here's Gabby Shannon. Struck out in the third inning. The, seventh, third baseman, Gabby the third baseman out of Ronan Park, just a freshman. Batting at 176 with 11 runs batted in. Line drive, that is foul down the left field line into the bullpen area. She became our favorite player in the second inning when she tried to go to first on ball three. Trying to take the umpire unawares. We liked that. We saluted it, but it didn't help her out ultimately in that at bat. 0-1. Kaylee Garcia to follow the number nine hitter. Swinging a foul into the catcher's glove, which counts as a strike, 0-2. Now, if she walked back to the dugout on their second strike like she struck out, then that would really make sense. That would balance things out a little bit. Fouls it back to the screen. 
stays 0-2. Beavers with one in the first, two in the second. Bear Cubs scoreless up until this point with one out in the top of the fifth. Bree Romero, 14-6 and six on the season, her ERA. A very impressive 2.78. The Beavers, as we said, have won four straight in Big 8 Conference play. Hit it slowly out towards second. Adams waits for it. Over to first for the out. Quickly two outs here in the uh, fifth inning, and Kaylee Garcia, the DP, will come to the plate. Left-handed hitter from Ukiah, California. Got a base on balls her first time, so she has yet to have the official at bat, the left-hander. Bella Garcia comes up at third base. Demon playing in close at first. Garcia looks like she's going to bunt, but takes a ball 1-0. Top of the order, that's Olivia Gabriel on deck. That's lifted into short center field. Garcia with the diving try, and she makes the diving catch. And the home plate umpire with an emphatic fist to punch out the, the batter. Kayla Garcia flies to center, ends the fifth inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Beaver still on top, 3 to nothing. Lincoln Potter's Baseball. Placer County's best kept secret is back for another exciting summer at historic McBean Stadium. Loaded with fun for the whole family. Local beer, wine, and eats. Fireworks, giveaways, theme nights, kid zone, and more. Come join in the fun and enjoy small town baseball with Major League Entertainment. Tickets on sale now at LincolnPotters.com. Lincoln Potter's Baseball. Come on out and join in the fun. Oh, I love baking. I've been doing it my whole life. Grateful Bread was started because I needed a job. We used to seem like bread was just an afterthought, and uh, which was always kind of disappointing. But now, as not only people, foodies and people eating, they, they're expecting better quality, and, and people notice it, they can see it. Got dragged there, and I didn't. What, he's an actor. Oh crap! Who cares? Uh, you got the rest of your life to be, you know, serious. But so just tweet it out, and then don't really then respond. run away. Yeah. No, I think it happens to some of us. Maybe it sounds a little personal to you, but uh, I, I'm not. I didn't want me. Yeah, to I don't know. It just way. maybe I, I, sounds yeah. like that. Generally I fine. Again, you're a very bright guy. Yeah. You see right, right into right my soul, you. my friend. Bottom of the fifth, it'll be Mackenzie Smith and Kayla Adams and Alexa Garcia for the Beavers. Three, four, and five against Jordan Bond, who has given up seven hits in a four innings and two earned runs. Smith has singled and walked, so she is uh, one for one in this one. Scored a run back in the first inning. Off-speed pitch, had her off-speed, but uh, just misses the strike zone, so it's 2-0 and oh on Mackenzie Smith, the Freshman out of Stag High School. Comes in at 418 with a pair of home runs and 16 RBI. It's a ground route towards second base. Marquez takes her time over to first and got her by a step. So Smith is out 4-3 to three in your scorebook. And here's Kayla Adams, who doubled in a run in the first and hit into a fielder's choice in the second. Beavers up 3 to nothing, but Kayla actually has the only RBI for the ball club. That RBI double in the first inning, two runs scored in the second on a, a wild pitch and a throwing error. Adams hits that one sharply up the middle, single to center field. So she's two for three, coming in at 415. Hit number eight for the Beavers, and here is Alexa Garcia, who struck out and fly to left. Alexa hasn't really got a good yeah, swing in on Jordan seven. Bond yet here in this one. Garcia. 344 on the season for Alexa, seven home runs, 26 batted in. She's got Adams down at first and one out here in the fifth. Like to put up a couple extra for Bria Romero. And that's a foul ball back to the screen. Run down by catcher Haley Wyatt. Bear Cubs will have the top of their order when they come to bat in the top of the sixth inning.
Popped out of play this time over our head. So it's quickly 0-2. Gabriel Wyatt and O'Keefe scheduled for the Bear Cubs in the top of the six, but right now we've got Adams at first base and an 0-2 count on Garcia. Swing and a miss. Got her on strike for the second time today. She is 0 for 3, and that'll bring up Riley Meyer, who's 2 for 2, even though she is not moving very well, and which is why I think she's probably not in the defensive alignment out there. Faith Waltrip is out in Riley's spot in right field, but Riley singled and scored in the second and doubled in the third over the head of Olivia Gabriel, who's given her a little more room in center field this time. Riley swings and misses on an off-speed pitch. I think Riley wants to get that kind of hit where you don't have to run very fast. And uh, that time she did not make contact, so it's 0-1. Swing and a miss again. There goes Adams. The throw to second base is looks like it was in time, and she is out at second base on a nice play by Mallory O'Keefe to cut across from short, make the catch, and apply the tag. So no runs, one hit, nobody left. We go to the sixth. It's the Bear Cubs trailing the Beavers three to nothing. Here at Super Taco, we specialize in authentic uh, Mexican food. One of the reasons we are different from other places is that uh, we make everything from scratch. You get a great value when you come here, large portions and quality food. Our most popular dishes are many uh, different kind of tacos. We have uh, giant burritos, different kinds of enchiladas, and the fajita. If you're ready for real Mexican food, stop in at a Super Taco. We'd love to see you. When it comes to your home's maintenance and repairs, Jeffers Resource Group has you covered. Our handyman services offer a comprehensive range of expertise so you can have peace of mind. Contact us to schedule your service today. Oh, I love baking. I've been doing it my whole life. Grateful Bread was started because I needed a job. Personally, the most rewarding part is about eating it. It always used to seem like bread was just an afterthought, and uh, which was always kind of disappointing. But now, as not only people, foodies and people eating, they, they're expecting better quality, and, and people notice it, they can see it. Olivia Gabriel starting us off in the top of the six for Santa Rosa. She's followed by Wyatt and O'Keefe. Top of the order against Bree Romero as the Beavers have a three to nothing lead. Gabriel bunts it. Garcia's on it quickly over to first and got her by a step at first base. Good job by Kayla Adams covering again. And Garcia kind of double clutched, but still had time to get Gabriel at first by a half step. So one pitch, one out here in the sixth. And Haley Wyatt at the plate. Haley came in at a four. 15 clip with eight home runs. She's grounded a third sharply both times. First time in the first and then in the third. She hits a sharp grounder. That's past third into left field for a base hit. Third hit of the game for the Bear Cubs. And Wyatt is down to first. And here's Mallory O'Keefe who's flying to left and grounded to third. So Mallory is 0 for 2. Sophomore from Petaluma hitting at uh, 247 coming in. Does have 11 runs batted in as Wyatt is down at first after that sharp single. Canine Club has moved their meeting into the rugby field, and they're having a quite a fine time down there. Running around outside and high for a ball 1-0. Not a day for the Canine Club to just be sitting. they got to be moving. 1-0. O'Keefe followed by Adriana Novak, the number four hitter. Good looking pitch, but missed the outside corner. 2 0. Bear Cubs 4 and 10 in conference play. Beavers 7 and 6. Both teams after today going into that home stretch. That is ball three. So Romero. In danger of putting two on for I think would be the first time today. As Wyatt is down at first base. Let's see if she fakes the bunt. See if my theory works out. She does not. And the pitch is right down the middle anyway. 
Wish she would have. That would have helped my theory. Yeah. Three and one now. O'Keefe looks down to third base to get the uh, latest info. Take strike two. The throw to first base not going to be in time. Full count now. Wyatt, the runner, down at first. Haley with her first hit of the game. She's one for three. Hit up in the air, foul over the dugout down the left field line. And we'll do it again at three balls and two strikes. Chris Toy manipulating the camera, giving you the total experience out here at Becky Russ Field. I got to get me a golf cart to go around campus. I think I should. I'm, I've ascended to the heights that I should be able to get one. Three two pitches popped up. That is going to stay in play. It's a foul ball, though, and handled by Kayla Adams at third base. So from 3-0 to getting a pop out into foul territory, good job by Bree Romero, and it's all up to Adriana Novak who has flied to left and grounded to second in her two appearances. She does have a home run to her name on the season. 18 runs batted in with a 224 average. A sophomore from Windsor High School is up here with Wyatt at first, but now two outs. Hits it foul into the dugout, and I think got somebody on the foot in there. Oh, you got to get out of the way. Pulled a Pearson, tried to get out of the way instead of making the play. <laughs> That's what I think. It's, I looked at Urban Dictionary. It's called a Pearson. When you totally misplay a foul ball, like you were afraid of it. That's just what it says in there. I didn't write it. I might have suggested an edit, but I didn't write it. That's fouled over by the other dugout this time. Had a little evil spin on it. 0-2 quickly on Adriana Novak. I forgot baseball season started yesterday, so Matt wearing his Phillies outfit today. He was the Mariners. He was the Mariners yesterday, and he's Phillies today. Popped up foul. That Mariners was a sharp-looking jersey. I have to say that was a sharp-looking jersey. Let's see. The Phillies, very, you know, very classic. You know, just the classic Phillies. Yeah. And it does, that is a very good call by Chris Toy, Cowboys fan. There is a blue star on there on the Phillies jersey for no apparent reason that I can see. A red dot would have been way better. That is outside for a ball. One and two on Novak. So are you a Mariners fan or a Phillies fan? Or one in each league? Okay. The Mariners was just for show. Fly out to center field. Garcia is going to have to go back on it. Reaches up and makes the catch in center field. Last inning, she made the diving catch coming in. This inning, Lincoln she makes Potter's the catch baseball. running away. Placer County's best catch. And that is the end of the inning. We go to the bottom of the six after some music interference. And the score is Beavers lead at 3-0. Hi, I'm Monica from Ace Body Shop in Town. We are a family-oriented business. We've been in business for over 30 years. We are located downtown Lincoln at 333 Lincoln Boulevard in Lincoln, California. We do automotive repair and 24 hours towing. Our phone number is 916-645-2859 or you can find us on the web. Here at Super Taco, we specialize in authentic uh, Mexican food. One of the reasons we are different from other places is that uh, we make everything from scratch. You get a great value when you come here, large portions and quality food. Our most popular dishes are many uh, different kind of tacos. We have uh, giant burritos, different kinds of enchiladas, and the fajita. If you're ready for real Mexican food, stop in at a Super Taco. We'd love to see you. Pass flung on and missed. He got him on strikes at 86 of the off speeder. Bruno strikes out the. He's going to look that way. Now he's going to duck down the middle. He's got a guy wide open at the 18. Get it. That's Robert Freeman. And Robert's trying to make a couple of moves. He comes back to the 15. Comes down to the 10. He gets a block to the 5.
Bottom of the sixth inning in a game which, quite frankly, hasn't had much going on since the bottom of the second. When the Beavers scored two of their three runs, they lead it three to nothing. All zeros on both sides since then. It'll be Riley Meyer, then Madison Demon, and Faith Waltrip. Meyer at the plate when Adams was thrown out trying to steal in the fifth, so she will bring her two for two night up to the plate and take outside for a ball, two for two afternoon, if you will. Actually, two for two morning as I check my fancy timepiece, otherwise known as a phone. Riley takes high for a ball, 2-0. Oh. Two balls, no strikes on Riley Meyer, the freshman from Castro Oval High School. She slices that one foul down the right field line. It'll be two balls and one strike. What have uh, iPhones done to the watch industry? I remember when I was in high school, my graduation present was a watch. It was a Belova watch, and it was pretty cool, too, but nobody gets watches anymore, do they? High fly ball right side. Foul ball called by the first baseman and made the catch. That is Adriana Novak over there. So Meyer is retired on a foul pop-up for the first out. Madison Demon coming to the plate. She's popped to the catcher and fly to center field. So Madison is 0 for 2. Just all those watchmakers, you know, all those little kindly old watchmakers, they got nothing going on now. Unless they can fix iPhones, I guess. But there's Apple stores for that, right? Outside for a ball, you just drop your phone off and they go, oh, I'll get to you in like three hours. All right. What else am I going to do? Go to the Build-A-Bear, you know, spend a couple of hours, you know, which they tend to frown on you if you just walk in there like a lonely guy. Check swing is too high. 2-0 and on Madison, a soft, uh, excuse me, freshman from Rio Americano. Faith Waltrip will follow her in the batting order for the Beavers as they have eight hits on the day, but six of those were in the first two innings. That one is in there for a strike, two and one, as they're kind of setting things up a little bit for the second game here as we are in the bottom of the sixth in game one already. Beavers leading at three to nothing, one in the first, two in the second. Two of those three runs were earned. Only one RBI registered by Beaver hitters. That misses, so it's three and one on Madison. Hitting in the number seven spot, 279 average. Coming into this one, mentioned she's 0 for 2 on the morning. It's a sharp grounder to third, scooped up over there by Shannon over to first on one hop. Nice play, Adriana Novak. Second out recorded by the Bear Cubs. Two down now, and Faith Waltrip will come to the plate. She singled and struck out looking. Singled in the second, scored a run, and then struck out in the third inning. So Faith came in at 250. She's 1 for 2. She's been the DH. She's pitched a little bit for the Beavers this year. Had a two and two record, and uh, she is in right field today. Takes high for a ball, one and zero. Oh. So Bond has really settled down after the second inning, giving up just two hits and struck out two. Came in with a good ERA, three point two nine, even a six and eight record. Took something off that. It's hit out to shortstop. Slowly picked up by O'Keefe across the diamond. Gets her by a step at first base. So one, two, three inning for Bond. And we go to the top of the seventh. Beavers on top. Three to nothing. When it comes to your home's maintenance and repairs, Jeffers Resource Group has you covered. Our handyman services offer a comprehensive range of expertise. From minor carpentry to drywall, electrical and flooring for property managers, landlords, and renters alike. We ensure that every job is completed to the highest standards, so you can have peace of mind. Contact us today to discover how Jeffers Resource Group can help keep your home in top shape.
I told Rick, I said, this is the guy that's going to lead us out of the... He can't even lead us out of the parking lot. He can't get out of the parking lot. So we just, just moments ago, the, a rhubarb, a brouhaha. Yes. Top of the seventh inning, last chance for the Bear Cubs. They trail it 3 nothing. Haley Martin, Natalia Brown, and Esperanza Marquez, 5, 6, and 7 against Bree Romero. That's hit up in the air toward right field, and right there is Faith Waltrip to corral it for the first out. So one pitch to Haley Martin, and she is now one for three as she had singled back in the fourth inning after being retired in the second and trying to bunt her way on. So she's one for three. Natalia Brown. Brown, who singled in the second as well. She flew out in the fourth inning, so she is one for two. She takes in there for a strike, 0 1. So Romero ahead in the count, 0 and 1 with one out here in the seventh. Beavers trying to make it five in a row in Big Eight Conference play and improve their record to 8 and 6. One ball, one strike now on Brown, and that one misses outside from Bree Romero. Swing and a miss. Good location for Bree. One ball, two strikes on Brown with Marquez on deck. Foul that one. I was spoiled at the last second. It seemed to tie Brown. Reached the bat out, fouled it back to the screen, so stays alive at one and two. A little liner over the top of the pitcher and off the glove of Romero. That's going to be an infield single for Ty Brown. The blooper was going to get over her head and bounce in front of second base, but Bree got a glove on it, the tip of her glove on it, slowed it down, and Brown reaches first, fourth hit for the Bear Cubs. And bring up Esperanza Marquez, who's flied to left and flied to center. On the inside corner for a strike. Sophia Uricochea has uh, come out on deck to pinch it. For Gabby Chanon. But right now it's Marquez that is the concern of Bree Romero and the Beavers. That one's high and outside throw to first base. Not going to be in time. Demon has to do all she can to keep that from going down the right field line. Evens the count up one and one on Marquez with the pinch hitter on deck. Takes it on the outside corner, call strike two. Grounded down to third, that's a foul ball. Still one ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes on Marquez. 222 coming in for Esperanza. Swing and a miss, got her on strikes. Third strike out of the game for Gabby Romero. First since the third inning. Big spot to get that one. Two outs, and here is the pinch hitter, Sofia Uricachea, a freshman out of Windsor High School, heading at 168. She does have, that's on 32, just 32 at bats. She has two runs batted in. So your Kachea is the pinch hitter, left-handed hitter against Romero. Kaylee Garcia out on deck. She's the number nine hitter. So the left-hander 
steps in after all the uh, bookkeeping has been done. Wide open stance from the left side against Bree Romero. Two outs here in the seventh. First pitch is high for a ball. One and oh. Took something off that one, still missed high. So 2-0. and oh. Obviously, you don't want to bring the potential tying run to the plate. Brown down at first base, two outs here in the seventh. That's lifted foul over the dugout on the left field side. So it's 2-1 and one on Urquhart. Two balls and one strike. That's lined into left center field. That's a base hit in front of Popic. Fiorca Chia comes up with a big pinch hit. Second hit of the inning. Fifth hit of the game for Santa Rosa. They move Brown down to second base, and now Kaylee Garcia comes to the plate. She has walked and flied to center on a tremendous catch by Alexa Garcia back in the fifth, and then the top of the order, Olivia Gabriel would be next. So Bear Cubs playing the string out on this one. They have the tying run, potential tying run at the plate. Garcia swings and pops it up. Oh, I thought that was going to come right to us and hit the top of the screen. It would have been all hands, would it be protect people? No, protect the camera that's up here. Three of us would have been trying to leap in front of it, and the fourth would not have been. Took something off that one. Perfect pitch in there, strike two. 0-2 oh on Garcia. Bella Garcia playing up a little bit at third base, but uh, two strikes here. Demon in front of the bag at first. 0-2 oh pitch coming from Bree Romero. Just a little bit outside. Good waist pitch. Good take from Garcia. Makes it one and two on Kaylee, freshman out of Ukiah. She is the DP for Coach Madison Green and the Bear Cubs. One-two pitch. Just misses the outside corner. That was not a waste pitch. That was a pitch to try to get called strike three. And, you know, I, a little bit biased up here, but I was, I was going to give it to her. Two and two. That misses outside and high, three and two. So she's missed three times outside. First and third were clearly misses. The second one was a little bit closer, but bottom line, it's a full count on Garcia with Olivia Gabriel, the top of the order on deck, and after her is Haley Wiley, Haley, Haley Wyatt. Hit to right field and hit well. Waltrip going back, reaches up, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. So Romero shuts him down in the seventh on two hits. She throws a five-hit shutout in game one, and she is our player of the game. The Beavers end up winning game one three to nothing. If you're watching live on YouTube, we'll be back in about 30 or 35 minutes with game two. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time on the Stones Radio Networks.